Today I've got a super simple tip that I think not a lot of people know to help you be more efficient inside the transition designer. I need more ideas for video topics, so if you have something you'd like to see, like a tip, trick, or tutorial, please leave it in the comments. I make videos about almost all the suggestions I get. Here's a really common situation. Let's say you're creating a transition from one screen to another, and in the transition designer, you align the screens. That means that one screen is on top of the other, which effectively blocks it, so you can't see it. Now at the start of the transition, I can see the layers that I can move, and the layers on the other screen are locked. But at the end of the transition, the visible layers are locked, and the ones behind are the ones I can move. So I can see through the hover outline that there's some layers here, and I can drag those, but it's oftentimes hard to find a layer and hard to know you're selecting the right thing when you can't see through the background of the screen. And depending on your screens, you may be able to see through, but in this case, I have an opaque layer on the end screen that covers over everything on the start screen. So here's a really easy tip to make this a bit easier to deal with. If you press the E key on your keyboard in the transition designer, that's a shortcut for hide the end screen. And you can see here the little eyeball shows up next to the end screen. So you just quickly press E, and now you can see all those layers and drag them where you'd like them to go. And you'll know that you're clicking the right layer because you can see it. Then you can press E again, and you get back to the original view. Now you can do the same thing to hide the start screen by pressing S. In this case, the start screen is behind the end screen, so it's not very useful, but you could make transitions the other way around where the start screen is on top. And then hiding the start screen might be useful so that you can access the elements of the end screen in the start state of your transition. So whenever you're trying to click something and it's hidden by the screen on top of it, just press the correct S or E to hide the start or end screen. And you can quickly tap those to toggle back and forth as you go through your transition. And that can be a really handy technique to help you be faster and more efficient inside the transition designer.